Oscar, come on. Come on, come on. You are just small every inch of this foot. Are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? Yeah, you're a good boy. Where are we? Are there lots of snails? Do you hear people behind the door? So we're at the vets right now and Oscar is going in for a routine checkup because we want to go to the pet expo next weekend and he needs at least his rabies shot. He actually needs all the shots but we're probably gonna just get rabies and distant for a day. So we're just at the beds waiting for the vet to come in and um, but everything looks normal. He's I think he's 18 and a half pounds. Um, so definitely smaller than his prime. <laughs> he was about 28 to 20 or no, he was about 25 pounds. So yeah, we're just hoping everything goes well and check on everything and we'll let you know what happens afterwards. Are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? Are you waiting for the vet to come in? Waiting for the vets? Are you listening at the door? Are you listening at the door? I thought I would update about the vet visit earlier today. So basically, um, he's totally healthy. He looks really good. Um, he does have some benign cysts on his eye, but they're not causing him any problems as long as he's not in pain or anything, that there's nothing that they can, uh, that they need to do about it. He does need to have a tooth removed he's got a tooth in the back that is inflamed and she said that the root is exposed so he's gonna have to have that removed probably within the next couple of months it doesn't have to be right now we're gonna make an appointment in the next couple of months to uh, get that done they have to do blood work before and he did have an echo um, his, because of it, he has his heart murmur um, less than a year ago so they probably won't have to do that again but everything looks really well they gave him his rabies and his temper shots we didn't do the bordetella or the leptospirosis mainly because for the bordetella he doesn't go to any kennels or doggy daycares anymore he pretty much stays mostly in the house so I don't have to worry about him being exposed to a lot of dogs and we don't take him to dog parks for him, like, really at all we haven't gone in years and the leptospirosis we used to have it done um, at the beginning of summer because we would take him to the lake a lot but with his depth perception not being as good we probably won't be taking him to the lake because he just won't be able to catch the toy. I don't think he would be able to find the toy. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> like he, I don't want him going swimming off with, you know, in search of a toy with the camera on his back. It's just not, not gonna happen. So that's basically what happened and he's overall really healthy and they were actually impressed that this is the first time he's ever had to have a dental procedure in 11 years he's just had really really good healthy teeth 
and um, they said it's really rare to find a dog that has gone its entire life without needing any kind of dental procedure at all. So I have lucked out with him a lot and I thought I would update you guys because you guys are probably wondering, you know, how his health is doing, especially since his, his eye surgery last year and everything that went down at that time. He is basically back to himself. Overall, everything looks good and we are ready to go to the expo next week. <laughs> And I bet you guys are going to be excited because he is going to wear his GoPro and we're going to take lots of video and you guys are going to see it from his point of view. So, bye. Can I say bye? <laughs>